If you have been feeling pain or tightness around your neck, please know that you are not alone. Neck pain is a very common symptom these days, and neck pain can be caused by multiple reasons. The causes of neck pain can uh, differ from many causes. First, it can come from the muscle problem of the neck. When you use a lot of muscle, it can cause the pain. Second is the accident. If, if you have an accident, you can cause the neck pain. And, and the next one is, uh, can come from the degeneration of the intervertebral disc of the cervical spine. And if you have this one, it can cause the compression of the nerve, it can cause the neck pain, uh, and it can cause the nerve uh, damage around the neck. The size of the neck pain that tells you that you have to come to see the doctor is, uh, uh, is the neck pain that not relieved when you less or that not relieved when you take the painkiller. Or if you have the, we call it associated symptom, as the arm pain, as the numbness or the weakness of the hand, um, you need to see the doctor. The diagnosis is, can come from a physical examination, can come from the medical history, that uh, what kind of pain that you feel, you have any associated symptom or not, and uh, the investigation that can help us to diagnose is uh, X-ray and also the MRI if you have a sign of the nerve compression or the disc herniation. So the MRI is a much help in diagnosis of the cause of neck pain. Muscle strain is the most common cause of neck pain and it's important to know that there are several reasons that can trigger this condition, such as osteoarthritis, which occurs when your neck bones wear down with your age. The cartilage or the cushions between the bones deteriorate and cause bone spurs to form. This affects movement of the joint and results in pain. Aside from the muscle strain and osteoarthritis, nerve compression, injuries or certain disease like rheumatoid arthritis can also cause pain in your neck. Painful symptoms can be troublesome, but rest assured they can be treated. Uh, most of all, it depends on the patient diagnosis. But if you have a neck pain and mostly we start with a conservative method as a medication and physical therapy. In case of you have a disc herniation or degeneration of the disc, uh, 60 to 70 percent of the patient can treat with conservative method. But uh, some of the patients that have a neurological deficit, um, we need to treat with an operation or surgery uh, treatment because of the, if we take it for a long time, it can cause the further damage of the nerve. So we want to prevent it. So maybe you need to do the operation. Nowadays, uh, the, the, surg the surgical treatment of the neck, I think it's in every hospital we use for the MIS. We use the microscopic um, to help us to do the surgery. We don't cut the muscle of the neck. The advantages of this is uh, it can relieve the patient pain after the operation. It can make the patient get faster recovery after the operation and go back to normal of their living activity uh, as before. For the neck operation, uh, mostly we use uh, the microscopic to help us for the surgery. And um, to prevent the nerve damages, we can use the neural monitoring entire operative neural monitoring during the surgery. It's like the, the sensor of the car, so if, if the nearby nerve, they can tell us by, by, the, by the graph. Prolong the pain can make the, they're not uh, feel happy for the pain. And if the pain, the cause of the pain is come from the nerve compression or something wrong with your, your cervical spine, it can make the further damage of the nerve. And if they have a nerve damage, mostly the recovery of it is uh, difficult. So we have to check before that what is the cause of the pain, what is the cause of the, this symptom, and we have to go to the, the right way to treat uh, for this cause of the symptom. It's better way. I don't say that you need to do a surgery in every patient, but we have to find out that what is the cause of the symptom. Most of the neck pain will resolve with the slight adjustment of your physical movement or physiotherapy. But in the event that requires surgery, there is a surgical procedure called minimally invasive surgery. With the combination of the skills of the spine specialist and the advancement of the technology, this procedure can be performed with high accuracy and low risk of complications. So if you have a severe neck pain that 
persists over several days or which radiates over the arms or you have feel headache and numbness or even muscle weakness along the pain. You should require to get the immediate medical attention. And moreover, if the neck pain originated from the accident or the injuries cannot be always overlooked. Wetani, victory for life.